parents. Say hey when you're hopping on. Hello. So we are, oh, we're getting cheeky in here. Um, we're going to show new Ophir lipsticks and liners. I've worn these a few times in different videos over the last couple weeks. Um, and I've gotten a lot of questions like, what are you wearing? What's on your lips? And I couldn't say I, all I could say is like something fun coming soon and so it's really exciting because today's the day um any other moms are like today's the day the tank is clean the tank is clean like from Nemo maybe not um that's kind of what uh what my life has consisted of for the last um 15 years I just recycle kids movies hi Say hey when you're hopping on. Ophir is going to do a giveaway with us today. So if you're watching the live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. Um, They're going to give away one of the new lipsticks and um, also all three blushes. So one winner will get three blushes and a new lipstick. So share this video, comment shared below. We're going to get started. Um, starting with primer. This is the Dewy Skin Skin Prep Primer and sorry if you can hear Veda. All right so we are going to start with this. This is a great base for your makeup to sit on top of. Fills in those fine lines, wrinkles, pores, To move my nose ring around if um if that ball on the inside rolls it just looks like my nose is dirty so um I'm like, well, I don't want to look like that my whole life hi okay so I'm gonna use the shade cardamom um and we have a few people to hop on before we show how cute these are um so they have like a new lipstick packaging for their new colors and for the berry. They are so beautiful. Ready? Look how cute. This is like a mauve purple. Um, this one here, this is off pink. I use this all the time, but this is the new packaging for that. Several different shades. Um, see here's berry good morning i love this color um also it's really cute with off pink in the center this one is whatever um and it is a perfect tan nude it's so cute and then this one is all that and it is a deep brown so cute colors coming in from Ophir today. And then they have, um, I'll swatch these little lip liners on my hand. So here is Berry. They are creamy. This one is the Go There. And their liners are 24 hours and they stay in place. This one is Whatever, which I think is such a cute tan. And then this one is All That. Which I think it'd be really cute to do that as your liner in this in the middle, which is what I've been doing on several videos that people are like, what are you wearing? Um, really, really cute. Okay, make sure to share publicly for the giveaway for a chance to enter. Um, Ophir says that Go There is their favorite, and that is the, I don't have all of the names memorized. Oh, that's not the liner name. Oh yeah, here, the purple one. The purple liner name. Okay, going in with uh, Cardamon foundation. Just put a couple dots on any sort of kabuki style brush and just dot it around. I've got my eyebrows. Oh, I was trying to read comments. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that looks silly. Okay. 
blend this out. So if you are bronzing your body, tanning, doing anything that's like a little darker than your actual skin color, um, I have a little bit of self tanner on, not a ton, but enough that I'm a little darker. A good little trick to not look like you're not supposed to be this color is see this little, your part line, you could either take a bronzer or whatever was left over. We're going to go with bronzer. Um, but sometimes if I have like extra foundation on my brush, I must not have enough. I'll show you. So I feel like this gets stark white and I just kind of like, we'll just do that. And see, it's like more my face color now instead of bright white and my skin's a little darker. Going in with their bronzer in the shade Deep Teak. It's the darkest one that they have. And I'm just going to contour. I like to contour around my forehead, right here under my cheekbones, and then around that jawline and under my lip and my nose. I actually contour in a lot of places, apparently. My nose. And I'll blend that one out. Just kind of slap it on. And then see, you can take like the little rods. I'm telling you, you don't notice, um, but we're getting closer to summer. It just makes it look so much more natural. Did anybody ever bronze their part? Deepen up their part? This is just going to give me the illusion of a tighter jawline. It gives you a little extra shadow. That's all contouring and highlighting is. It's making your shadows a little more prominent where they naturally are. Or <laughs> for example, I had a lift recently and for a little while, like one implant dropped and the other one hadn't, which is normal, right? But I was like, this one looks higher than this one. And so I would just contour like a little above it couldn't tell. So there's all kinds of ways to contour things on your body, things um, to make it just a little more, uh, your shadow a little deeper in certain areas. Go in with just like a little kabuki brush. Terrible. And where I put that bronzer on the bridge of my nose, just kind of blending that out so it's not as harsh. I blend out the edges so that it just blends. You can't really tell where the bronzer began, where it ended, but it's definitely there. If you were wanting more of a shadow right here as well, like you can even put a little bronzer under your chin. Ooh, might even help keep your part from getting sunburned. That, it might, I don't know. But that's a good idea. It definitely, um, I will, I have to put sunscreen on my part um, if I'm going to be like out in the sun all day or I will burn there. You don't realize that you burn there. Uh, does Ophir have a lighter contour palette? Yes, absolutely. They have um, three. This is just the darkest and I just like a deep contour. But if you're more fair than I am, then they have lots of options for you. Okay, going in, um, they're going to give away three blushes today, so I wanted to go ahead and show you all three of their blushes. So we have, I actually might, would rather do this one today. I love Current Blush. I think it is so perfect. It's got, it looks really bold right here, but on, it's just beautiful. I'll show you on my hand. Um, that would be way too much. So you barely touch it. They are incredibly pigmented. If your brush looks like that, blow it off. To where it's more like that. Nice rosy pink color. Um, then we have, dust this off. 
Then we've got this peachy color, which is called apricot. I think that's what I'm going to use today because I feel like the tones go really well. Um, so here's apricot. Worms you up, but very subtly. You're like, hmm, lifts those cheeks. Such pretty color. My outfit, it is from Pink Lily. If you drop the word me below, I can send you links for all the makeup and then all the like outfit stuff, um, anything like that, if you're needing links. But uh, I wore this in Mexico and it is so comfortable. Um, I love the texture of it. And then it's just like, I don't know, it's just such a cute everyday set. Okay, and then the other shade that they have is the color guava. And when I am really tan, I love the look of like pale bubblegum pink on really tan. And so here's this color. Kind of a bright spot for it. Anyway, I'll use the inner. <laughs> it just gives you this nice guava pink. Okay. Going in with setting powder in the shade medium. I cannot wait for their setting powder to come back. It's the best setting powder. gonna go under my eyes it has been out of stock for a minute when it comes back you guys just run and don't worry I will let you know as soon as I hear okay gonna go down just the center of my nose around wherever I get sweaty kind of t-zone you can tell I'm almost out friends this is the shade medium Okay, then we're gonna go in with a liner, but I don't see it. Um, doo -doo -doo. They have a new liner and I absolutely love it. It's a liquid liner. We've been looking for a good, here we are. Okay, this poor little hand, I'm gonna have so much on it. Um, if you've been looking for a good liner, I love this because you could get a thin line or a thick line, depending on however you, you press it down, but it gives you such a cute, if you like the look of a wing. For going into like summer, I don't know, I just think it's really cute to be really bronze, wing liner, maybe a red lip, or um, if I do a really, bold eyeshadow look then I don't like to do a bold lip so this is kind of I don't know a good everyday for me love a little wing liner with some mascara and then we're going to try on lipsticks and that way our um and I'll show you too we'll just go ahead and put a little bit of like apricot blush which was the color we did on our cheeks I'm going to put this on first so this is a very simple eyeshadow look today, but I love multi-use products when you can use the same product for a lot of different things. Also gonna go in with um, a little bit of a stiffer brush. I think this is from, I don't know where this is from. I wish I did, sorry. I was gonna say Lexi's Christmas set, but I, I don't know. Going in on the inner corner. And then we're gonna go in with the bronzer. Okay. And then I'm gonna go right here, bronzer. Just like that. You could also wear this just on its own. Okay, do you guys have any questions? If you've tried Ophir, what is your favorite product? So there is a color match quiz. If you don't know what foundation to get, they actually have a color match quiz on their website and you put in the shade and brand that you currently use. 
look at this, adding a little bit of dark to that outer corner. So beautiful. Um, so you put in the shade and current brand that you use and it will let you know which foundation um, is best for you. So that's amazing. Um, and I just love using it for all kinds of things. Okay, we're going in with their wing liner. Can we just take a moment? It's so fantastic. Um, I love the way the tip is on this. And then also like smudge proof, water resistant. And I just kind of do little tiny line up towards the tail of my brow and then about three quarters of the way down I draw a straight line across to right above here the outside of my iris and I just fill it in It's amazing. Six a.m. Where you are, you can't sleep. Where's everybody coming in from? Okay, here we go. We're going in with the Ophir. Um, no, I don't want this one actually. This is the waterproof mascara, and it is fantastic if you're going somewhere where your if your eyes water it will not come off. If you are swimming in the Olympics, it's not going to come off. It is a fantastic waterproof, um, mascara, but I personally don't like using waterproof every day. Um, just because when I wash it off, it can be a little harsher on my lashes. I will wear it. Um, I always have a waterproof like in my bag. I'll wear it to water parks. I will wear it to funerals. I will wear it to, there are definitely for me a day where, Hey, today is a waterproof mascara day. Um, but my everyday mascara is the comfortable smudge proof mascara. So, um, this has castor oil in it, um, as does the waterproof and it actually lengthens and strengthens your lashes. Oh, I love it when it's a new tube and it goes like, and it makes that popping sound. So satisfying. Tennessee, Texas, Rhode Island. <clears throat> I've been working on um, the states and capitals lately because I am quite the competitive third grader and you get a prize, whoever memorizes them, you know, first. So, uh, every night, every car ride, every washing of the hair, um, <clears throat> I'm doing, it's because obviously Lola, uh, hang on. I've got like a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Lola is supposed to learn the states and capitals. And, um, so that means I'm learning states and capitals, you know, so, uh, all over again. And I actually just did this with two other kids not too long ago, like within the last few years. And I am reminded how quickly my brain did not find that was useful information and was like, you don't need to know this because I'm relearning it for, I guess, like the fourth time in my life. And, um, but I'm getting pretty good. But I'm seeing where you guys are all coming from. And I'm like, huh, we haven't. We don't really hit those states yet because I'm like, what's the capital? Um, 
but it really is funny. You know when you study hard for things like that and then they take their test and you're like, you can't wait until they get home from school because you're like, how'd you do on the test? Like, did you remember this and this? Like history tests, especially spelling tests. Pretty much it's just we're invested, right? We're invested parents. Uh, okay, so the way I like to do my mascara is I'll show you on this eye how I wiggle my wand, which that might sound silly. I didn't even know it was a thing until I've had people mention that. And so um, it is a thing. And it, when you're teaching your children how to do things, if you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, um, no, you don't do it that way. But it's things that you don't realize, oh, there's a technique. So my favorite technique for mascara is I start at the base, right? And at this front section, I am starting at the base. I wiggle and I'm kind of rotating that wand as I go. Just like a little like wiggle and up. And so the front part, I'll go upward. The middle part, I will actually go more of a like horizontal or diagonal, I guess. Um, because I want those to fan this way. So I want, I want it to like naturally fan. If you only go up the whole time, you'll notice your brow, your lashes look really straight. And so um, this just gives you a more fanned, curved look to your lashes. Ooh, song on YouTube about the states and capitals he draws. It's really helped your daughter. Oh, Brooke, I'll look that up. Okay, so you can see like on this part, like my wand is not just flat and straight the whole time, right? I'm like turning it in so that it's curling that way. And then the middle is kind of straight. And then on the ends, it's like on the diagonal. If you change that up, instead of doing everything just straight, you will get a much broader fan to your lashes. Give me a heart if that makes some sense. And then see, I just like rotate. And I guess the reason I like to rotate the wand is because you're getting more actual mascara onto the lashes. So just use the actual wand to kind of fan them out. Same thing here, like rotate it on a diagonal. Also, I do this weird thing. You can't see it from where you are, but I hold my neck like this. So if you had a baby doll, you know, and your baby doll has creepy eyes, and if you turn it a certain way, like the eyes just close automatically, but if you turn your head this way, they like open. Well, I don't wanna get mascara on my lids. You work too hard for your lashes, nothing looks worse than mascara all over. So if you do this, your um, eyelid is really, really open, like flat that way, and it helps. So you see this, but it's really me doing this like weird turkey neck thing. If you struggle with getting mascara on your lashes, do the weird turkey neck thing because ostrich neck, whatever you want to call it, it's this. But you can even tell, like, and if you're trying to put your mascara on and you're just standing straight up, it will get on your lid because your lid is just right there. Whereas if you do this, your lid's really flat and you're just getting, like, the actual lash. Those are my pro tips. <laughs> um, like, what did you learn today? Well, there's the ostrich deck technique with your mascara. And if you don't want to get, see, like, you guys can't tell that I'm doing it, but I do it every time. And you hold your mouth open a little bit. And that also, something about it, that thing, it does it. 
Okay, let's try on some lipsticks. Uh, fantastic mascara if you've never tried. Um, oh, Mitzi said she's a new user of Ophir. She's 54. She loves everything and makes her look and feel so youthful. Um, you wish your lashes were long. Use a ser use like a lash serum and then also a mascara that strengthens and lengthens your lashes. And um, those will be a like big change for the length of your lashes. I really need to exfoliate my lips. I'm so sorry, friends. You can make your own like lip exfoliator with just a little bit of coconut oil and some sugar and just like a like a little sugar scrub. Um, I obviously haven't done that in about a million years. Uh, so I just have real textured lips. Um, I actually use like a happy sub often and it keeps my lips pretty hydrated. Uh, but I've noticed with the season change, my lips just seem a little drier. Okay, we're going in with the colors, all that and whatever. Um, and I'm going in with a very light hand because this is a darker color. So I'm just wanting the edges to be a little darker. I do overline a little bit. Uh, don't forget, if you're shopping up here today, the code is secret and it will get you 20% off. So under my lip, just a little, it's just going to give you the illusion they're a little fuller. Okay, again, just light hand. Going to make my lip a little poutier. It's really hard to talk and do your lips at the same time, in case you're wondering. Okay, then I'm also going to give a little more shadow right here. You look kind of silly for a second. That's my main shape, just creating shape. My fingers are slippery. And then now I'm going in with the shade Whatever. These are the new lip liners that just launched today. And then I'm going to take my finger and just blend. I'm actually going to use a little bit of, um, whoops, drop that. Chapstick. They are a, they're not smudging. They are 24 hours. So if you don't work fast enough, they're exactly where you put them. But I need it to blend a little. So just apply a lip gloss or chapstick. Okay. So when you kind of feel like you've got it the way you want it, if there's any area that you wanted A little darker, you can go back over. A little lighter, you can add a little in. And 
Can you even? I got a little speckle on me. What's everybody having for lunch? I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And I'm like, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, okay. Pretend I have beautifully curled hair and all the cute little outfit stuff, but if you love neutral tones, also you could do more of the nude, less of the brown. If you don't like how brown this is, I'm personally like loving, loving these colors together. Peachy, browns, nudes. So good. Um, do you guys want to swatch some lip glosses or lipsticks on our hand and then hop off here just so you can see them on? Okay, here you go. Go there. I'm going to do it this way. This is like a mauve -y purple. It's like a new shade. We'll go there. Let me know what's your favorite. All that. Nice deep brown. You know I love. This tan is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So cute. So if you did not want, I saw somebody say, would they ever come out with something not matte for the um, lip liner? So if you want something that's more hydrating and not a matte, then you could use the matte liner and then you put a little bit of their lipstick on it but this is the uh whatever so same shade that i used as the lip liner this was the actual lipstick so cute i just love makeup makeup brings me so much joy and is so fun like you can go from feeling just icky and whatever like i feel beautiful in my own skin like i'm not someone who's like i won't leave the house without it but there's just something about it that makes me feel like the most polished version of myself when I ha have put in a little bit of time to like just feel, you know, kind of like more put together. Mm, you had sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich from Starbucks and a caramel macchiato with coconut milk. Mmm. Oh, that sounds good. I'm just hungry. Very. Very. Did you ever see the B movie? His name's, it's uh, Jerry Seinfeld. He plays, it's a cartoon. <laughs> Shocker. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's in my lineup. And so, but every time I hear Jerry Seinfeld's voice, I just think of the B from the B movie because I had really seen that way more than I had seen Seinfeld. And um, this is off pink. But when I said Barry, there's like, that's the bee's name. His name's Barry. But it's actually, they're talking about the berry, like an actual fruit berry. But, oh, just ignore me. <laughs> uh, okay, pink smoothie. Gonna get a message from if you're after the sober and it's like, so, for today's topic, it's really interesting. Okay, pink smoothie. I love that people are on here. When I first started doing tutorials, it was like my mom and dad. Um, well, that tells you my parents have been divorced now for eight years and my mom and dad used to watch them together. So, um, if that tells you how long I've been doing tutorials, but, um, it'd be my mom and dad and maybe like a best friend or like two other people. And, uh, it would get so hard out to, you know, I just start rambling about who knows what. And even now, I'll, tons of people to talk to. Um, and I, I love getting to chat, but sometimes your brain, I'm just sitting here like in a room by myself, you know? And so you start doing your makeup for a while and it's just, if you have ADD too, um, then you probably relate. You probably dropped four things this morning. Can't remember 
like where half of the things you're looking for are and um anyways it's all a good day uh congratulations already have a winner so they're gonna get um it's katrina nepier maybe uh, is how you say that, but the details on how to message Ophir are listed in the video. Um, you're going to get three blushes and your favorite lipstick. So good. Uh, you have off pink and use it daily on your lips, cheeks, and eyes. Quick to go to look. Uh, you got the pink smoothie. Look at that. Can you imagine? Also have reds as well. Um, and they're listed in a separate section of the site because they are still like the original reds, whereas these are, um, new colors. So congratulations. I had fun getting ready with you today and, um, I hope you have a good day. Bye guys.